All right, there we go. That's a pretty good start. What's up, everyone? Glock9 here, and welcome back to Nightmare 2, House on the Hill. It is the morning of day three. I do have one skill point to spend this morning, but I'm not going to spend it just yet because I'm not sure how I want to spend it just yet. Anyway, this is the beginnings of our horde defense here at the House on the Hill. I'm building a big ramp that's going to lead down to the bottom of this elevator shaft. Now, what am I going to do from here? I'm not sure yet. That's just how I work, one step at a time, but pretty sure the pit base idea I had is not going to work because the zombies just don't like to jump into pits. What they'll probably do is just beat on the house until they find their own way in, you know? So I feel like this ramp idea uh, is a much better way to get the zombies down into the bunker. So I'm going to do a little bit more digging here this morning and then we're going to take a risky journey, but I feel it's a necessary risk over to the trader. Uh, I got some things to sell. I got a little bit of coin. Hopefully, we can find a wrench or a hammer or a wrench schematic or a hammer schematic or, at the very least, some more ammo. All right, here we go. At least it's a clear morning. We can actually see where we're going. Oh my god, look at this journey. We're like fucking Frodo Baggins here, bringing the Ring of Power to Mordor. Yeah, I'm a fucking nerd. What are you gonna do? Um, alright, well, I do have a Mega Crush with me. That's our one saving grace if shit really hits the fan, but I'm only gonna use it if our life depends on it. As much as I would love to use it now and just run there and get there as fast as possible, um, it wears off in like two minutes or some shit, so, like I said, I'm only gonna use it if our life depends on it. Feathers, uh, we could use feathers, so that's fine. I'm really looking for eggs, though. As you can see, I'm eating boiled eggs this morning. They do not require, uh, any points into Master Chef to make, obviously, so that's nice. Man, I would like to check out that car right there. Ah, uh, stripper. Nope, not gonna do it. Oh, maybe we can search that one, though. Getting this close to this POI is a dangerous thing to do, but I actually feel more comfortable next to a POI like this because at least we have a place to, to run and we have something we can use as a defense, you know, versus just being out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Some more glue. And some stones. All right, let's, uh, oh, this big boy. Walk away, big boy. That's right. Go somewhere else. Sometimes you get some decent loot out of cars. Eh, some lead and some bullet tips. Let's take a peek over this hill. Looking pretty clear. Let's see if we can harvest this tree stump because honey does give you a little stamina bonus. So if we can get some, I'll eat it right now. Nope. All right, we are coming to the end of the snow biome here. We got a lumberjack up there and a uh, zombie on the road. I'm going to try and squeeze in between the two of them without alerting either of them. Okay, looking good. I like to run a little bit and then walk a little bit, get that stamina back. We can't just run until we're completely out of stamina, otherwise we could get ourselves in some big trouble. Take that, and we'll continue to work our way down the road. We got a crawler here. We'll kill him, get some free XP, basically. And now we're not necessarily safer here in the green grasslands. I mean, we don't have mountain lions to worry about, but there are just as many zombies, wolves, and bears here, and they're harder to spot. That's the one nice thing about the snow biome. Things are easy to see, unless, of course, the fog rolls in, then... That's a different story. We're going to have the farmhouse coming up on our left here. You can see the barn. So we're going to walk through some of their crops. As long as there are no zombies around, we'll definitely harvest some of the corn. We got some iron here, and I don't see any zombies. So I'm going to take a moment and harvest a little bit of it because we can use it. 
There we go. And I'll mark the ground in case, I don't know, we want to come back and harvest more at some point. Got a car here, which is nice. Like I said, sometimes you can grab some good loot out of cars. Got another crawler coming down the road. Empty can and a couple of electrical parts. All right, let's kill this little guy. And it's looking clear. So that's good. We'll grab some corn. And continue on. And you know what else is down the road here? A working stiff tools. If you're looking for tools, that's a good place to look. So I'm thinking we raid that place on our way back home. That's good for now. Let's not push our luck. I want to get on top of this bridge here. That'll give us a good look at our surroundings. We are more than halfway there, so we're looking pretty good. There is the working stiff tools. The trader is just down that road there. Now, if we needed to... I'm pretty sure I could drink this Mega Crush and we could make it all the way to the traders. But again, not going to do that unless our life literally depends on it. There we go. Picking up a lot of shit along the way here. So we might have to put a storage chest down either at the traders or maybe in front of the working stiff tools. Feathers. Feathers. We got some trash here and a zombie. Ah, let's not fuck around. Let's just uh, go this way. There we go. A couple of eggs. No oh, shit. Goddamn Kenny. I'm going to just try and knock him out with the bat here. Because a gunshot will definitely trigger other zombies. Fuck you, Kenny. Yes. Now die, you piece of shit. Oh, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, a couple more eggs. Let's actually eat one. We could drink a bottle of water here, too, in a minute. That gives you a little bit of uh, stamina regen, I think, like 15%. We're getting close, and we're looking good. You know, it's like at this point, I would hate to have to use the Mega Crush. It would almost be like a waste, since we're so close to our destination. Because remember, we have to walk home. Here's some more iron, and no zombies in sight, so I'm going to harvest a little bit more. Alright, we made it. Oh, it's good to be safe. Safe at Jen's place. Let's uh, do some looting before we go see her. Boom, look at that. Chem station schematic. That's nice. Uh, you know what? I'll take the cotton and turn that into cloth, since we have cloth on us anyway. What is this? Is that new? I don't ever remember seeing that at Jen's place. But, I have a bad memory, so... Could totally have been here the whole time, and I'm just fucking clueless. Uh, I'm good on the rotten flesh. Take that. Let's uh, check the forge. We got some trash right here as well. Oh, nice. Some steel and an anvil, which I haven't crafted yet because I used all the iron I put into the forge to make forged iron to make this bat. Let's see what we got in here. Some sand. Some more glue. Some lead. And more lead. I don't think there's anything upstairs to search, but out here, there's some trash and a bird's nest. Well, I doubt there's anything up here, but I'll check anyway. Yeah, probably not. Uh, let's see, can I make this jump? Mm, I don't think so. But I'm gonna try. Fuck it. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, that's so stupid. I'm such a fucking idiot. I didn't sprain my leg or anything, so we're good. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. I'll edit it out so you guys don't even see how fucking stupid I am. All right, let's go see Jen. What's up, Jen? You're looking kind of rough. Well, I did walk here. You didn't get bit, did you? 
No, I didn't get bit. For fuck's sake, what are you trying to jinx me? And I think I want to keep everything else. We got just under 1,400 coin, which isn't much, but let's see. Beaker, we just found the chem station schematic. We can't afford it, though. Um, cigar, we can't afford it. I don't think there's going to be much we can afford. 6,000 for the workbench. We are way off there. Hey, an auger on day three. That's nice. We certainly can't afford it, though. Claw hammer. We can't afford it. Son of a bitch. Oh, man. And her inventory restocks tomorrow. Nine millimeter shotgun ammo. And that's it. I guess I'll... I could buy a few more shotgun shells. I don't want to spend too much money, though. Because it looks like I'm probably going to end up spending my skill points to unlock the now wrench and the hammer good. recipe so I can get a workbench crafted myself. I'm a doctor. Mm, she's got no jobs to the north, which is where I'm headed. This is really close, but I'm not going to fuck around right now. We got to go do the working stiff tools. But first, we should probably deal with whatever zombies are beating on the walls. All right, let's go. Now, again, it would be a shame to use the Mega Crush right now since the Working Stiff Tools is so close. But if we have to, we have to. I would much rather use it on the way home, though. I'd much rather not use it at all so we can save it for another day. But we'll just see how this goes. Um, I'm thinking about how to approach the Working Stiff Tools. I think we'll just go in through the front door because there are going to be zombies in the back. The last thing I want to do is, like, wake up everybody at one time. That would be uh, not good. So I guess we'll just go in through the front. Uh, there's a couple of bathrooms in the working stiff tools. I think the one on the left has a zombie, but I think the one on the right is clear. So we could try running right into the bathroom, closing the door and putting a hatch down. That might be a uh, good way to do it. Uh, I already made a storage chest, so we'll get this put down in front of the working stiff tools, and we'll drop a bunch of shit off before we do anything crazy. Nice. Um, we're probably going to wake up this zombie in this area, chopping this chicken up. But, fuck it. I'm doing it anyway. If we just wake up this zombie, then we can kill it through the fence. Oh, there's another one. In here. Ah, oh, well, they're not waking up. So we're fine. Yeah, fucking sleeping beauty over here. This might wake him up. No? Didn't. Alright. Let's go around front. Well, we got Skinny Pete over there. And I've got footsteps. Somewhere. Here we are. Okay. Bathroom idea it is, then. I hope there's no zombies in here. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck off, lady. Occupied, bitch. Yes, she's down. Now die. All right. I could have pulled the shotgun out there. I mean, we woke up all the other zombies anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I might have to use it on these fucks, depending on how many there are. Three of them right now. Let's see what we can do. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. Killed him just as he was glitching his way through. He's dead. One more left. Down he goes. Dead. All right, that was not too bad. And now we got a little safe spot in here. Just some paper, let's repair this. And let's see what we got. Excuse me, buddy. Man, all these tool chests are open except one cloth. Son of a bitch. Uh-oh. Here we go. Skinny Pete, let's lure him into the bathroom. Never thought I'd say that. Boom, let's get back to work.
One lock pick. Can try our luck with the safe. Oh, three more. Four lock picks. Now the question is, do we try our luck with the wall safe or the hardened chest down in the bunker? Murky water. Paper. Let's dig up this cement. And more murky water. Come on. Ah, a couple more lockpicks. Not mad at that. Mechanical parts and cloth. Paintbrush and some plastic parts. I'm pretty sure this bathroom is clear. Yep. Just didn't want to take any chances there. More murky water. That door is locked. Uh, search this trash. More cloth. It's a plug right here. Trash. More glue. And I know I can take those faucets apart for brass, but that's the least of my worries right now. Nice. Smoked her ass. We got another zombie sleeping back here, though. I'm pretty sure, right? I don't think we woke him up. Yep. Oh. Hi there. What you doing in the corner? Dead. Oh, that woke you up? Son of a bitch. That's alright. Follow me to the bathroom. I got something to show you. It's long and it's hard and it hurts when I ram it into you. See? It's a bat. What did you think it was? Oh, you're disgusting. Ooh, that's nice. Two meat stews. That should hold us over for a bit. We got a zombie over here trying to break through the fence. Another bottle of acid. I guess we're not going to have any trouble finding acid in this playthrough. It's got to be something else. Because there's always one thing that you can't fucking find. Good on the rotten flesh. Not much here. Uh, let's put a hatch down at this door. There's definitely zombies out back. Alright. Um, I want to open this door, though. This is locked. To get in this room, you have to kind of go around through the back. But I don't want to do that. I want to just fucking open it up right here. And it's probably going to wake up some zombies, but that's alright, because there's another door in this office that leads to the back. And that's where we woke up some zombies. So we'll put another hatch down here. We should be covered. There might be zombies coming to both doors right now. And there are. And that's fine. We'll deal with him. There we go. Let's get to the other door now. Just one. Not a big deal. I mean, there may be more out there, and there's probably some on the roof as well, but as of now, we're safe. Oh, another mining book. Lanterns and the corn on the cob recipe, which we've already read. That's why I picked up a bunch of corn on the way here today. I'm trying to not have to put a point into Master Chef. Hopefully we could just find the boiled meat recipe at some point. Uh, because, you know, I want to put my next two skill points into Miner 69er and Salvage Operations. So we can craft a workbench tonight. Oh, level 2 Stone Axe will bring that down. Uh, you know, thinking about it, I still might not be able to craft a workbench tonight because I don't know if we have enough mechanical parts. I'll have to check. If we do, great. If not, then I don't know what my plan is going to be. I'll think about that later. Can't worry about it now. Some more cloth. And there's a dog. Let's see if we could drop it with one arrow. Nope. Okay. We'll just beat it to death, then. That's closed. <laughs> Good. Come here, you fuck. Let's go. Bop. Bop. Ooh, look at that shot with the arrow right through its cheek. Dead. Let's harvest it. This 
steel tool parts. I don't need steel tool parts right now. I need fucking iron tools. Just give me a hammer. Or a wrench. I've got this cement over here. Let's grab this. And we might as well get the paper out of this. Alright, I don't think there's anything in the corner here. Maybe some trash. Grab these chairs, scrap them for iron. Yeah, there is a bit of trash over here. Gunpowder and sand. How about uh, this corner? Oh, got a zombie. Nice. What do we got up here? Oh, bird and uh, zombie. Close that. I don't think the bird's crazy enough to come flying down here, but the zombies should. Oh, yep. Here they are. Let's go, ladies. All right, let's go, bird. Birds. Oh, shit, two of them. Come on, then. Oh, trying to double team me, you pricks. Oh, dead. What are you doing? You know, I can see you, right? What? Oh, stupid. There we go. And I'm not even going to harvest you, dirty ass bird. Looking good. Hour 19. It's getting late. I'm not worried. We'll be fine. We got a Mega Crush still. We can get home fairly quickly. We're going to be a bit encumbered, though. Definitely going to have to leave some stuff behind. But even still, there's a lot of stuff I want to take with me. So, uh, we'll definitely be moving slower than normal. Here is the main stash, and I'm pretty sure there's no zombies down here. Nah, we're good. Bunch of working stiff tool crates. We got to find a wrench in here, right? It's got to happen. Or a hammer. One or the other. I'll be happy. Electrical parts and machine tool parts. What am I doing getting machine tool parts on day three? Give me a wrench. Machine tool parts. This fucking game. It listens to me, I swear. And it's like, oh yeah? How about this, asshole? Machine tool parts. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit, dude. Uh, whatever. More steel tool parts. Useless to me on day three. Well, this, this is the last one. Our last hope. Son of a bitch. Oh well. We got some decent stuff, I guess. Just not what we needed. Alright, let me sort through the storage chest, see what we're going to leave behind, what we're going to take, and then we'll start our journey... Back home. Uh, you know, we don't need these hatches for the walk. We can always make more. I'm gonna repair that thing and sell it. I'm not crazy about the nightstick. Alright, I think that's good. We're uh, a bit encumbered, but still moving at a decent pace. And if I drink this Mega Crush, I think we can still outrun... Uh, any zombie and hopefully any mountain lion that might start chasing us. I'm still going to be very cautious, obviously, because if I can get away with not using this Mega Crush, that would be ideal. Let's see if we can get some honey, because like I said at the beginning of this episode, it gives you a bit of a stamina bonus. Nope. No luck there. All right, decent amount of corn now. Corn on the cob is good, gives you a decent amount of food, gives you a seven minute stamina bonus. Only bad thing is that it does take away a bit of hydration, so you gotta watch. If you're eating that shit all day, you better have some water on you too. Uh, probably shouldn't keep picking shit up, I'm just making myself more encumbered. I'm gonna drink uh, yucca juice, 15% stamina regen. Uh, of course, there's a lumberjack right there. Right at the end. Oh! <laughs> what an idiot. Alright, I think we're good. 
Home is right up this hill here. Even if that lumberjack gets a sense of us, we can get behind that hatch before he can get to us, so... Not worried about it. Home sweet home. What a fucking journey. I'm um, definitely going to do some more work to this tonight. Start getting some stairs in with cobblestone. We picked up a good amount of cobblestone today. Plus, I can still harvest all the cobblestone uh, in the house that I didn't harvest yet. So we'll be good. Um, only thing I still need to contemplate, obviously. Oh, we can get some mushrooms. Let's do that. Bam. Two mushrooms and we got the spore back so we can do this. Pop. All right. Uh, like I said, the only thing I need to contemplate is what I want to do with the skill points. And if I want to go ahead and unlock the wrench and the hammer, get those crafted. Oh, we got three skill points. So even if I do that, I'll still have one left. Because, um, like I said, we got to go into... Um... Salvage operations, which unlocks wrench crafting. And then we would have to go into Miner 69er, which is somewhere right here. And that unlocks all iron tools, which I believe the hammer falls into that category. So we'll be able to craft both of those things, but I don't know if we have enough mechanical parts to craft the workbench. I'll go through our inventory tonight and see, make that decision, do a little bit of work on the base, and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day four. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Nightmare 2, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.